Hello, my name is Mark Featherston. I'm a team leader in exterior design in Mercedes-Benz here in Germany. I'm also the designer responsible for the new Mercedes-Benz CLA, the car behind me. And I'm here to talk to you about a few of the design highlights of the CLA. So the first thing that you notice when you look at the car are its proportions. What we've tried to do is reduce the amount of glass, push the roof as low as possible so that this car creates a sporty statement. Glass is almost like a visor on a crash helmet. It creates a cool effect. It's just something attractive to look at, like on an aeroplane, the tiny little visor. That's what makes aeroplanes look great. And then when we come to the actual design of the car, what we've got is a completely new form language from Mercedes-Benz. And what we see here is very three-dimensional surfaces. They're as, they're as expressive as what we could actually get in clay. So this, this car was made as a, as a clay sculpture and put that into production. We've got positive and negative surfaces. We couldn't get more three-dimensional shape, more movement in the body of the CLA. It's not possible. You wouldn't be able to manufacture the doors with more shape. But what we've done is not only have we got this very expressive surface treatment, but we've structured the surfaces with three lines. This line here on the rear wing, the line from the front wing to the rear, which is the Mercedes DNA dropping line. That's what we have on a next generation of Mercedes cars. And then we've got the third line at the bottom, which balances our dropping line, which brings the car back forward again. The rear light graphic kind of summarizes for me the character. It's expressive, it's emotional, it's about um, uh, free form and flow. And that's what you see here, because not only do you have a graphic itself, which is very emotional for Mercedes, um, but it lies in, in very complex surfaces. We've got positive surfaces wrapping around the corner. We've got negative surfaces and we've got the overall plan shape, the top view of the car. We've got a lot of complex surfaces all meeting in one corner, which you can only really do in hand. So this was very much a clay sculpture exercise. Couldn't be done in computer. Something also very special about this car is that we've manipulated the surfaces so much that we had to develop a new form of lettering for the car because actually these surfaces are so negative and so positive that the normal lettering wouldn't actually fix to the car. So now we come to the front of the car. We've got the side line, this Mercedes DNA line, this dropping line, and it runs into the headlight of the car and creates this sort of eyebrow effect. Very, very important. And these headlights themselves, again, like the rear lights, they have a lot more flow in them than you would expect for a Mercedes. So this is a very, um, let's say, emotional statement for this car. The extra flow that we get in the lines, the extra sort of blister on the top of the eyebrow. And that's emphasized by this, by this eyebrow here, this sort of three-dimensional eyebrow that comes from looking at nature, looking at birds, looking at the focus stare. We looked very much at nature um, and the eye of, uh, of a bird of prey. Yeah, if you look at any bird of prey, their eyes are very, very similar in the sense that they have a lip which runs over them, also on snakes and things like that. Animals with, with, the, with this sort of power and aggression in them, they have a very focused stare. The diamond grille was something that we did originally on the concept A-Class, which was shown in Shanghai two years ago. And the reaction was unbelievable. I, we've never had that before in a show car where everybody came to the car, they went to the grill, they had their cameras this close to the pins. They said, if you make this into production, I'm selling my Audi or my BMW, I'm gonna buy this car. I'm not exaggerating, it really was like that. One after the other after the other, they came to the car, they took pictures of the grill, they said, I want that grill, I want that car because I love that grill. The chairman said, we want you to put that diamond grill into production, which became possibly the hardest thing on the entire car. What we did was we repositioned every pin by eye so that the effect was ultimately what we had on our show car this diamond grill this surface that you read people think that when they see the diamond grill it's a geometric computer programmed uh, piece of, of design it's actually not um, each pin is positioned by eye and of course as soon as you move one pin you have to move the other pins around it and so when you look at it and you analyze it, um, although it looks like a constant network of, of pins, they're actually individually spaced so that the effect 
is as close as possible to our original show car. It has the ingredients of what we aspire to in a Mercedes, but it has something new as well. Now they've got it in a, in a brand new, exciting product, which is a Mercedes, which doesn't exist anywhere else in the, in the car market. There is nothing like it, it's unique. What I want is that people just look at the car and go, wow, that's sexy, I would like to have it.